Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Still on Thursday. She's just gonna get this video as soon as it goes up. Hopefully it'll be up by seven. We'll see what happens. I don't know exactly if it will be or not, but uh, I will try to get up there as soon as I possibly can for you. Sun's going down, it's already cooling off. Uh, actually, I'll tell you honestly, fall is my absolutely favorite time of year. Love fall. Cool at night for sleeping. Not too hot during the day. You can actually get some things done, uh, which is always a pleasant thing. So, all right. So, I wanted to talk about the migrant crisis. Uh, you know, there, there's, and, and this is what I think is great, okay? First of all, uh, Governor Abbott down in Texas. All these cities, remember all these cities? Well, we're, we're a sanctuary city. We're this, you know, we're, we, we love the migrants, blah, blah, blah. So he's like, okay. So he has a controversial thing with what he's doing, and uh, he is shipping on an average of about 600 new migrants a day um, just to New York City. <laughs> so, uh, which I think is hilarious because now they're crying, and they're like, oh, no, this is too much. We can't. We can't handle this. There's just too many people coming in, and uh, they don't know how to deal with that situation. Imagine how the folks down in Arizona, in California, in Texas feel with this stream of people uh, coming across the border. Which I also think is funny um, is you see the Democrats, some of them are trying to blame uh, the Republicans for this crisis. Well, we all squarely know where that lies with the blame for this crisis and them not doing anything about it. It's just, it, it is amazing to me, really, truly amazing to me. Uh, and it just, it keeps on happening. What was it, uh, 2.3 million people last year, I think 2.1 2 million so far this year, just streaming across the border. And those are the ones, guys, and I want you to remember this too, okay? Those are the ones that they either catch or that have just applied for asylum. And they're being coached on the other side. Okay, this is what you say. You're an asylum seeker. And so automatically, boom, you're in. You know what I mean? It's just, it's absolutely ludicrous. Um, insane. All of the things. Any any other adjectives you would like to add to that is fine. But uh, I figured I'd walk back here again. And just kind of show you. It looks really cute there. It really, really does. Sitting underneath the trees there. A little bit he's gonna have to do some uh, you know trim work uh, as far as you know that goes but uh, I think that's gonna be a really really nice spot and I think that they're gonna be really happy with that spot and uh, so but uh, anyway hey 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 come on come on come on she can come flying by here in just about two seconds oh imagine that I could hear it coming. So, all right. So, uh, I don't know if you guys saw that the mayor of New York City, uh, and, and again, all this kills me, guys. This really kills me. So, he is on a trip right now to Latin America, and he's being, you know, he's saying that, uh, well, these migrants are, are told that they're being shipped in New York, and there'll be jobs waiting for them there, and, you know, they'll, they'll have housing and work and, and everything else. Well, sorry, folks, but uh, you know this uh, this problem squarely lies um, on the shoulders of the Democratic Party, because if you remember, when Trump was building the wall, he was told how awful he was and what a terrible person he was for building this wall and doing what he was doing. Remember that. But just remember too. All of you out there can think about this. Our taxpayers are paying for this. So if you're in New York State uh, or wherever in the country, your taxpayers are paying for these people. You know, they're getting health care. They're getting allotments of money. They are, you know, the whole nine yards. And what about uh, Joe Average American citizen? Uh, do you believe that that's fair? Because where are they staying? It's not like they get off the bus uh, in New York City and they have, you know, no place to go and they're making them sleep on the street. They're putting these people somewhere. And so that is being paid for 
by, you know, tax dollars. Whatever state, whatever state, it's all being paid by tax dollars. So, you know, I'm just kind of at a point where I'm tired of my money that I'm paying for taxes is being wasted uh, on these type of things when I'm not anti-immigration. Let me just say that right off the bat, okay? I am not anti-immigration. Uh, I think we have the greatest country, regardless of the problems that we have in this country. I still think of this as the land of opportunity because to truly, if you're willing to work hard and try to get ahead, you can. But uh, the, the problem is these folks are not doing it the right way. Uh, the people that came over from Europe, right, they went through Ellis Island. There was a process that was done uh, when they came over here. You know, and they came over here legally. Uh, these people are just streaming across the border, you know, and they got their hand out right. At, I mean, some of them are willing to work. Please don't let me, you know, don't think that I'm thinking I'm calling them all lazy because I'm not. Uh, some of these folks are willing to work. But again, you know, you know, why, why, why are we taking all these people in? Why are we not stopping them at the border and saying no? And everybody we catch, send them back, send them back to Mexico. Put them right back across that border, you know. It, it's got to stop. There has to come a point where enough is enough. And, uh, you know, now now the uh, Democratic, uh, you know, gov or not governors, but uh, mayors and, 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 well, governors and stuff like that, too, in these different states and cities, you know, they're they're crying because they're feeling the wrath of, uh, of it and stuff like that. But So anyway, the, the mayor of New York City is on a trip to Latin America to say, hey, listen, no, you know, um, and people are saying it's a wasted trip because they're going to still come anyway, which they are. They're not stopping. Uh, as long as they can continue to get away with it, they're going to come. But he's saying, no, there's not jobs waiting for you in New York State and, uh, you know, and all this type of stuff. So I just, they don't care. Uh, we're, we're a better solution than anything that they've dealt with or had to deal with, you know. And so, but it's a, it's a very crazy situation. I definitely want to hear your feedback on it. What do you think, uh, you know, who's, re who's responsible? That would be my second question to you guys, which we already all know the answer to that one, right? Uh, and should there be changes made? All right, so those, those are the kind of the thought process there. So anyway, folks, I am going to jump off of here for now. Remember, we truly are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we truly will be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day, tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one stopping you from reaching your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. Uh, keep prepping. Keep getting ready, guys. Stay away from people to tell you what you can accomplish. Show them what you can. All right? Have a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.